limiting beliefs, limiting beliefs, right? Limiting beliefs, right? I'm about to do a, a, a I got a big speech coming up at Morehouse uh, this month, and I'm gonna talk about limiting beliefs. And this is, people just make this stuff up. It's not real, guys, what y'all are saying. It's not real, what y'all think. People who want this, want this. They can do the numbers. Uh, they can figure out what 80, 70, 85% is. Most people are going to be on the high end and try to think they're on the high end. It is what it is. You have no control. All you're doing is offering a service, just like Open Door, just like Zillow, just like Mark Spain, people who have verified results that are making millions of dollars marketing this program. You're, you're not a real estate agent. Get that out of your head. You are not a real estate agent. You are a marketer. Your job is to give people what they want. What do people want? They want a four-sided brick with a finished basement with a with on one acre of land with a flat backyard. That's what they want. So if that's what they want, give it to them. You guys with me on that? Yeah. That's how you market. You it don't work because open door is doing it. <laughs> exactly. Like we're late to the party with this, y'all. We just but guess what? Most of us here only need to close, need one or two a month. I mean, let's forget about the big numbers. What if y'all just close one of these a month and still did real estate how you did it and close your whatever you close? Okay, moving on. So I'm here for the people who just want one, right? Now I'm greedy. I want 20, 30 now because I got the process down, right? Any questions about that? Okay, so don't put the stuff in your head. If somebody has verified results, all you do is go do it. And when you have problems, you put an express and their EXP realty challenge. Say, hey, there's a challenge I ran today. Anybody got a suggestion? And if somebody gives you a suggestion that does not have verified results, don't listen to them. Wait for me to respond. Or go into the express offer of workplace and post that. Yes, more people to have more success than me. Trust me. These people are closing hundreds of deals. One dude in there closed 200 deals in one year. This on Express Office. Okay, go on, go into the workplace. Don't even, don't even listen to me. I don't have the results that you want. I only closed five in 90 days. Okay, don't listen to me. But listen to those people. They're closing hundreds. And trust me, I'm on the phone with them. Moving on. So those are some best practices. And hopefully you guys that have been reaching out to me, those couple documents will get you over the hump, right? If you need a document, uh, reach out in the HP Realty channel. Simone will make sure you guys have them. She's our unofficial admin person. She's wonderful at it, all right? So she'll make sure you have whatever document you need. All right, so let's talk about mortgage rates. I brought this up on, on my team. Uh, we have a once a month meeting on my personal real estate team. And we call it our ideas meeting, right? You guys that have a team, you should probably institute something like this. I learned it from my buddy who was an executive for Comcast and he was telling me they do it weekly. I'm like, that's awesome. But everybody in the company, no matter where you come, what, where, you're, where you're on a pecking order, you, you have to come with an idea. So once a month, we have an ideas meeting. And one of the things I brought up is, you know, a lot of times what, what real estate agents are saying, they're talking about mortgage rates. And um, here's the facts. Let's just deal with the numbers because numbers don't lie. The average rate since 1971 to 2023, you guys see it here, 7.75%. That's what it is, right? Yeah, that's the average interest rate. In the last, what is that, 29 plus 23, that's 52 years. Last 52 years, the average interest rate is 7.75. So right now, rates are around in the sixes. Um, at Guaranteed Home Loans, here's a commercial for us. Uh, you know, we can give people rates at 2% below market. I personally did a loan for a lady, closed it last week at 3.99. Okay, 3.99. It was a 2-1 buy down, 3.99 the first year, 4.99 the second year, refinance. If she didn't ended up being at 5.99 by the third year. So we can we do those all day long. So if you're not doing business with guaranteed home loans, we're in Florida and Georgia. Go to our website, letscloseFast.com. Let us do the loans for your clients. All right. <clears throat> so just get this in your head. I want you guys to be thinking about marketing. How can I get this information out? Right? How can I get it out? So then I Googled, I said, what's the lowest 30-year mortgage rate ever? Ever. It says it was from 2000 to 2021, and rates kept going even, all the way down to even about 2.65, but the average rate for that year was still 2.96. It's only happened in 52 years, y'all. Do you understand that? If you're looking for something to happen once in 52 years, your clients, that's like looking for a unicorn or trying to find a needle in a haystack. 
right? Don't let your clients stay focused on what happened once in 52 years. Get the message out to them. If you want these two slides, or make your own, because I know some of you guys can do slides way better than me. Um, get the message out to your clients on how to do it. Create videos, create reels, create, talk about these two things constantly. This is what the, the rates and loan programs, rates and loan programs. Don't be on TikTok and all the stuff you're doing, talking about next, another one on the contract. Like, nobody cares about that. People are connecting to how can they get what they want. I posted a lot of reels in the last two weeks. I picked up four clients. One dude, I was chilling yesterday, he uh, DM me on one of my reels. He says, hey, um, does the owner of the house we're renting wants to sell it and I need to find a new home by May. I saw your reel online. Uh, can you help me? Right. And I'm like, okay, what's your credit score? Number one, 710 to 750. Wife, him. So I said, okay, great. And um, fill, out a, fill out the loan application. He's like, yeah. So did that. Right. That's just off a reel that cost me $1 a day. $1. Okay. All right. So lowest rates in history happened one time in 52 years. Get this message out to you guys' social media groups. Okay. This is how you, this is how you get business coming back to you. And you can put it in a system. We all talked about buffer.com. Please write it down. Please use it. It's free. Hootsuite. Something that's free doesn't cost you one dime. That'll post to your social media. Schedule it to go out twice a week, right? Twice a week. Especially now, people are going to get their tax returns, right? They're going to be thinking about making a major purchase. Some people, that's going to be their down payment, right? I will, be, I, will be, I will be prepping these people with a dollar a day reel about these two alone. Right. And I would be telling them that, hey, if you're waiting for something that's going to happen once in 52 years, just take however old you are right now. And at 52 years, would you rather buy a home now or whatever that number is? Right. You guys got it. You know, you're not screen sharing, right? Oh, I'm not. No. Nobody's that means nobody's paying attention. AT, you just waste. Thanks for chilling. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Well, here's the here's the slides if you want them you can have them. Uh, historical rates 7.75 1971 uh, to 2023 average rates 7.75 here is the rate for best answer all right so let's talk about the leads a lot of times you know uh, i've been training a lot of real estate agents lately y'all i'm really doing some different things because i know i'm I'm doing a lot of speaking now and one of my speaking groups that i market to is realtors why because i am a realtor um, and since I have a number one best-selling book about real estate, I might as well leverage it, right? So um, real estate agents talk about leads all the time. The leads, leads suck. The leads are no good. But here's a fact. Grant Cardone says no matter how good the leads, 69% of salespeople don't even call. Them. So when I was when I break down realtors into groups, when I do speak and I do like some groups, I'm, I break them down in groups. I find that this number is so accurate, dude. Like it is so accurate. Most realtors not even calling the leads anyways. They don't have a they don't have a dedicated day and time. They're not being intentional about calling leads. They're just complaining, right? They're just complaining because part of them is and, and I did one about it was a three day meeting that we had um, out in D.C. It was a three day meeting that we had, and of all the realtors, I said by day two, I want you to bring me your written plan on you know when you call leads and stuff like that, and I made somebody like a leader of their group. This number is one hundred. This number is one hundred, right? They're not calling the leads. They're not, um, they, they don't even have an intentional time to call them. They're just, I don't know what they're doing. So no reason, reason they're not, they're not having success, but everybody says they want more leads. The number one concern of realtors, I put out a poll in here. You guys should be filling it out. I, I dropped a poll in, in our chat here, right? That you guys should be filling it out about the leads, about where you are in your business. Some of you guys answered it, right? What's, okay, here it is. Okay, great. All right, four people answered out of 15, 26%. See, numbers don't lie. <laughs> I love it, 26%. So uh, is it the leads that you're looking for, right? That's Lionel Richie, who never ages. I don't know how old this guy is, but he looks incredible. All right, so here's something about always be closing. It's two minutes, one, 12 seconds. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. You guys have never seen that movie. It's called Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. It's a great sales movie. Um, some harsh language in there, but 
Sometimes we need a tongue lash and sometimes, but check that out. All right, so let's talk about eXp because I want to get you guys up to speed on what's happening at eXp. If you're not marketing this slide, here's another video you could do about this slide alone. So 2022, the numbers came out. Numbers don't lie. You know, when I first started hearing about eXp about three years ago, I was like, man, everybody's talking about recruiting me, recruiting me, recruiting me. I'm like, y'all y'all close any deals or not? Like, y'all y'all just vomiting uh, trying to recruit me because y'all see my numbers, right? So here's, here's the numbers, right? Number one, an independent broker. Okay, first of all, Real Trends puts out a report. They 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 tracked the 500, 500 real estate companies in America, North America. And these are the reports from last year. We, we rank number one in independent brokerages, right? Transactions, uh, top five year sales volume percentage from 2017 to 2021. We had the largest increase in sales. We were number one. And then number three in closed transaction size last year. Now we're talking about who else is in here. Remax is in here. Keller Williams is in here. Berkshire Hathaway is in here. Uh, all, Zillow Real Estate's in here. All the big companies are in here, right? We rank number three in America, number four in closed sales volume. And of course, that makes us have at least a billion dollars or more in closed sales in 2021. Pretty similar numbers to the year before, just so you guys know. So, um, you should be doing videos about this agent attraction. Okay, you want to attract agents who think all people are just talking about it. XP is about recruiting agents because it's not because we don't want every agent here. We want our vibe to create our tribe, right? We want to help business minded agents. I don't want agents that are not business minded here at EXP. Me personally, I don't. Uh, I want business minded agents that want to grow their business. That's what that's what I try to attract um, because. Most agents are going, you know, 87% of agents fail. It's just, a, it's just a real number. So at least it, I don't want you to fail if you're business minded. If you're business minded and you're failing, you're my perfect. I don't want to help you. Or if you're business minded and you're succeeding, I want to help you. Because we have all the tools here to be able to help you. Express offers, close all deals in 50 states and 23 countries. I just need to show you how to do it. So now your business goes from zero to hero, right? But people need to see this. Some of you guys have, don't even know this exists and you work here. Right. You don't even know this exists. And so if you don't know it exists, your clients don't know it exists. The marketplace doesn't know it exists. And you can always flip this because Tony Robbins says, always tell people what they're thinking. Right. Hey, for you, I used to think EXP. This is your own video. It, Anthony Thornton here. I am a real estate agent in Metro Atlanta. I used to think real EXP was just about recruiting agents. And now I looked at the real trend reports, which are showing like this is you just with a video up here somewhere of you talking. And here's the numbers, y'all. It's unbelievable. Then I would share the, share the slide about express offers. Then I would share the slide about a 30,000 realtor network. And I would give people three things to think about because it attracted me here. I mean, like, how many guys would love to have me in your organization? Sponsor me in the EXP. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. Okay, there's a, it's a thousands of people like me out there. All right, so this is the end of my video for you guys, end of my training for you. If you don't use this software, you should be. I use it for everything. Loom.com is totally free. You can record videos explaining things to your clients. You can record anything you want, screen share. You can record you. You can. So a lot of times when you have a uh, a buyer that's not moving forward. I was meeting with Melissa last week. I said, okay, tell me what, tell me the number one issue facing your business. And some of the things she shared, I'm like, okay, we got to create loom videos about those specific topics. It could have been about mortgage rates. It could have been about this, a loom video, which is totally free to you guys, right? You should get this on your cell phone and also on your computer.